Buenos Nachos. Buenos nachos. What's up, everybody? Uh, I wanted to show everybody this uh, this hat that I made. It says right here. If you could read it. I don't know. It might be backwards. So. <laughs> But yeah, it's pretty much kind of like the other hat that I had on uh, in the last video that I was doing. Um, but except on on the front it says, uh, Make America Racist Again. So that's pretty much what uh, Donald Trump wants America to be. Uh, I know he says he has hats that say, uh, Make America Great Again. But honestly... All, all he's trying to say is, is uh, he wants America to be racist again, because uh, that's pretty much what he is, and that's what he wants everyone to be, also. Uh, so uh, pretty much this hat is just like combating. It's pretty much uh, you know going against what he says. Uh, so that's why I made this hat. Uh, but yeah, what's up, everybody? This is Oz the Controller here with another video on Grand Theft Auto 5 and we're here in the casino uh, I just wanted to I wanted to mention uh, that if you have two characters if you have a girl character and a guy character or two guy characters or two girl characters uh, either way uh, what you can do is if you have two characters uh, you could swap between each character and what you can do is you can you can uh, accumulate your chips uh, one one thing is that you can accumulate your chips uh, if you don't have a penthouse for your second character if you don't have a penthouse for your second character then you're only going to be able to accumulate 20,000 chips at a time and another thing uh, not only uh, you you can do 20,000 chips at a time uh, but not only that what happens is if you have uh, your second character and you go back to your first character you will notice that you will only be able to get 30,000 chips uh, because there's a max pretty much like a max payout of how many chips you can get and it's pretty much 50,000 so if you get 20,000 from your second character you go back to your first character you're only going to be able to get 30,000 after that uh, so what you can do uh, this is what I did. I don't know. It's up to you if you really want to do it uh, But I ended up buying a penthouse for my girl character So now I have a penthouse for her and now I can accumulate 50,000 chips at a time uh, with her uh, I'm pretty happy with my guy character because I've accumulated my chips uh, with my guy character now I kind of want to do the same thing with my girl character and this is pretty much just in case like you want to save money on the side uh, money that you don't want to spend money that you want to just keep uh, you know there's supposedly there's all kinds of safes in Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, but a lot of the safes don't actually work they they don't allow you to put money in those safes and the safe at the nightclub only takes seventy thousand dollars and it doesn't take money that you put in there it takes the money that people people are, are coming to your nightclub and they're paying the hundred dollar fee in order to give you uh, that accumulated uh, cumulative uh, you know seventy thousand uh, what sucks is that you can't actually put uh, see right now it's gonna allow me to get the fifty thousand again uh, right now I was I was in the casino for a while I was kind of spending some time and then I was like doing my information on my YouTube video so now it's gonna allow me to get 50 50,000 more chips uh, I think I'm gonna save that though because what I'm gonna do is 
instead of getting it for my guy character i feel like i have enough for him so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna swap to my girl character a bit later and i'm gonna get those fifty thousand chips for her because i'm gonna start accumulating uh her wealth and make sure that she has a bunch of chips just in case uh i need some money on the side you know i always have that money right there and i'm not gonna touch it i'm gonna try to just keep that uh you know going higher and higher accumulating higher and higher uh another thing so that was only i've explained the chips okay uh you can only get uh the visitor bonus you can only get the visitor bonus once per day once every 24 hours and if you get the visitor bonus for uh your guy character then you might not be able to get it for your girl character because i think the accounts are pretty much they're uh together they're like synced uh the chips the chips is separately you can accumulate the chips separately uh, but when it comes to you getting the 50,000, it's either your guy character is going to get the 50,000 or your girl character will get it. But you can't do 50,000 for each character. And also the visitor bonus. The visitor bonus is only going to be for one character also. So you can only get those extra thousand chips uh, every 24 hours for only one character. You have to pick which character you give it to. Uh, another thing... Another thing which is cool is that spinning the wheel, it's not like you can only spin the wheel for one character. Uh, what's cool is that I can spin the wheel now I realize that I could spin the wheel twice a day pretty much because I could do it for both characters. And the money, if I win money for my girl character, the bank accounts uh, in the cash uh, category is actually, they're actually connected. So if I win like 40,000 chips with my girl character, then it'll just go to an accumulative uh, an account that my guy character and my girl character have together. Uh, so pretty much, you know, you have two chances to spin the wheel. You have one character and then you can swap over to the second character and spin the wheel a second time. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, luckily that's not connected. Luckily, you, you don't have to just spin the wheel for one character. Uh, you could spin the wheel twice. I'm, I'm letting you guys know now. Uh, I know maybe there's some people out there that have no idea about this. That maybe there's some people who don't even have a second character, you know. But if you have that second character and you come over here to the casino, dude, it's great. You get to spin the wheel twice, once per character and i think it's great you should definitely do that and that'll definitely get you more stuff you'll be able to win more things and what's cool is that if you win the vehicle for your other character then you could win the vehicle twice you could win the vehicle for each character and depending on how you feel about you know if you want to sell that vehicle or not uh what's pretty cool is that supposedly you're supposed to get uh zero dollars you're supposed to get zero dollars for selling a vehicle from the casino podium but I what I did is I kept my vehicle and I kept it in a garage for a while and then I went back and I took it to the uh, Los Santos customs and supposedly it gave me like a hundred and forty four a hundred and forty four thousand dollars yeah I was about to say a hundred and forty four dollars no it gave me a hundred and forty four thousand dollars so seriously instead of getting zero dollars from that uh car that i won on the podium in the casino i ended up getting some money out of it uh and it was a car that i already had uh and i actually sold that car before so i didn't want that car anymore so that's pretty much why i sold that car it was it was the nero i had the nero i won it uh but i had the vehicle before and i sold it so i ended up selling this podium vehicle again and like i said i kept it in my garage for a while and then later on a couple days later or maybe like a week later two weeks i don't even know how much time it was uh but after i had it in the garage for a while i took it out went to los santos customs it's supposed to be at zero dollars but it ended up giving me 144 dollars uh so i don't know about everyone out there if you guys have podium cars but if you do, I mean, maybe you can try this and maybe it'll work for you.
uh, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and spin this wheel, but because I kind of been taking like forever talking. Um, but yeah, pretty much I just wanted to explain that to everyone, and I wanted everyone to understand that. Um, that's that's one thing uh, that I wanted to explain. Now that I'm here at the casino, now that I was spinning the wheel, uh, as you can see, I just got uh, 20,000 uh, chips. So that's added to my accu my accumulative total. It's a very difficult word to say. Accumulative. Try to, try to say that ten times fast. Accumulative. 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 I'm getting tired just saying it. <laughs> All right, anyway, so now that I just came out of the casino, just came out of the Diamond Casino, and I'm going to go real quick. Real quick, I'm going to go to my CEO building, because in order to do this glitch, you have to go to your CEO building, and that's, that's where the glitch is actually done. So I'm on my way to my CEO building. By the way, this is my Batman car. And actually this is uh my second Batman car because I have I have two Batman cars. I have two Batman cars, I have two flying planes. No. Two Batman cars, two flying bikes, I meant to say. Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, pretty much I have two because just in case if anybody blows me up while I'm playing I can automatically call for the other vehicle and once I call for the other vehicle I can be uh, You know using that second vehicle and then calling for the first vehicle on Moore's Mutual to get it back from my insurance company uh, So that's pretty nifty. I like I like doing that uh, My friend actually gave me the idea because he was saying that, uh, well, my, my ex friend, uh, the friend that I used to have, uh, his name is Plunky. Uh, he used to help me, uh, do a bunch of stuff to get money. Uh, but, uh, pretty much we're not friends anymore. <laughs> so something happened, but, um, basically, he was. He was showing me. Hold on, let me check. Oh, I think I have all the snacks I need. So yeah, basically my friend Plunky, he was uh, telling me that, oh, you know, I have so much money that, pretty much I bought, you know, two cars of of each car. Every single car that I have, I have a second version of the car and I was like what the heck like that's ridiculous like that's too many cars you have like two of each car like that's too much man so um yeah that's pretty much where I got the idea he gave me the idea to do that and I was thinking like I don't need two of every car that's like that's too much I don't I don't need two of every car uh if anything uh, I was thinking, you know, might as well I can do my flying bike and I could do my Batman car in case anybody blows me up. Boom, I got the second one. So, you know. So what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to have to, what you got to do first. All right, I'm going I'm to start uh, explaining the glitch. Uh, in order to put a mask with a hat on. You have to first you have to create the outfit you have to get the outfit ready so that you can do uh, this glitch pretty much so let me go ahead excuse me excuse me so I'm <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna go ahead and switch you have to find the particular outfit Cause I have I have one here. 
There's one here that I have. Uh, let's see. There's one here that I have that I use. I'm not sure if I still have it because... I think it deleted some of my my outfits. So you have to be careful when you're doing this glitch. Make sure to put... Uh, you have to put... Don't, don't put like find a new session. You have to put like leave GTA online. And that way you could go back to story mode. And that way you could try to save your outfits. Uh, a lot of my, like, pretty much half of my outfits saved. And then the other half of my outfits didn't save. So pretty much you have to be careful. Just in case uh, you may lose it. Just think about, you know, how you made that outfit. Just in case when you go back on and you have to do it again, then you'll, you'll know what to do. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. Let me see. It deleted um, it deleted the one I was using yeah I don't I don't see it here you know what I'm gonna have to do it again huh yeah that was it was pretty much it was pretty easy the way that I used it Let's see, I did, uh, let's start with tops, and then I did, was it utility? Utility. Let's see. Oh, no, I think it's, is it this one? Oh, yeah, it's this one. So I'm not sure if you have to use this in order to do your outfit. You can probably do it a different way. Uh, if you just, you know, tweak around, you know, and try to find the way to do it on your own. Uh, but if you do it this way and you try to start it off this way, you can figure it out. And once you figured it out, then you can make your like own outfit the way you want to. Uh, but for now, we're going to start off with this one. What I'm using is, I'm going to use the black heavy utility vest. Uh, this, this is pretty much what I used in order to do the glitch before. Like I said, uh, you can try it, out, try it out this way first. And then after you figured out the glitch, then you can, you know, do it your way. Uh, but I recommend just, to, just starting off this way, just in case, because... Uh, so let's go, now we gotta go to hats, let's go to bulletproof helmets, yeah, bulletproof helmet, oh, you know what I was doing, uh, first I was using the bulletproof helmet, and that, it was working nice, um, so you could use the bulletproof helmet, most people don't have uh, the beer hat so the beer hat is what I was using next uh, so it's up to you I mean if you don't have the beer hat and you know you wanna you wanna do it uh, if you wanna do the glitch and you don't have the beer hat I suggest you use the bulletproof helmet uh, I'm not sure what other hats uh, do the glitch the same way but maybe maybe you're able to do it with other hats uh so far i've been using the beer hat and i've been using the bulletproof helmet so i mean it's up to you if you you would like to try it uh with other hats or helmets uh but this is what i was using so what i'm gonna do is <clears throat> first i'm gonna do it with the red one because i wanted to do an outfit with the red uh, beer hat okay so what you gotta do is pretty much you take this outfit uh, what we're gonna do let's let's go ahead and I'm gonna take off everything else from the outfit that way it's only left with you know the hat the vest 
maybe some pants and some shoes let's see uh, let's go ahead and let's take off let's go to accessories let's go to accessories and then we go to we go to earrings both and then we put no earrings okay so that's how we take off the earrings and then you want to go to glasses out I, I would think glasses would be under accessories but okay so let's go to glasses and then we go to professional and then we go to no glasses so you want to take off the glasses um, again you don't you don't have to necessarily do this but I want to do this just to make sure because sometimes maybe the glitch might not work if you have all this stuff on uh, so it's probably better if you just have it you know kind of like plain like this uh, the pants and the shoes pretty much it doesn't matter because I'm gonna end up changing that uh, so pretty much I could just leave it like that and what you do is you go to edit saved outfits you press square so you can edit saved outfits and I was using the slot right at the top of my outfits pretty much I have 20 outfits and I'm using the first slot the very first slot you don't have to use the very first slot but it's up to you you know pretty much I'm I use the very first slot because it's easiest for me because when you're doing the glitch it just automatically right at the top and it's easier to do it but you can use pretty much any of the slots you could pretty much put it like right dead center in the middle if you wanted to and all you have to do is you just have to keep on clicking over to where that specific outfit is but you gotta remember which outfit it is or else you can you know mess it up uh so go ahead and we are gonna save this one here in order to do the glitch see I already made an outfit if you if you see when I clicked on it if you look at where it says uh, edit saved outfits right under that it says zebra proof so pretty much I already had an outfit that I made and I don't know I just deleted it somehow so you just gotta be careful uh, maybe not all the maybe not all the outfits are gonna save uh, but what I like is that you know a bunch of my outfits did save but there was some outfits that got deleted so you just gotta you know go back and you pretty much make the outfit again and you put leave GTA online so that you could try to save that outfit uh, this is not gonna happen all the time I think it only happens a couple times in the beginning and then once you've done it a bunch of times to, to keep fixing the outfit and going to put it back on uh, then eventually there's gonna get to a point where it's not gonna get deleted anymore so yes I'm sorry you know this it, it gets aggravating it gets annoying like damn I just I saved that outfit I already had it and then I get back on and it's oh it's not there no more like what the heck I know it gets frustrating I know it sucks man trust me I've been there but honestly once you learn this glitch and if you watch this video again you can always just watch it again and remind yourself how to do the glitch in order to do it again and to get those outfits back uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this as what I was using was uh, bulletproof uh, so I'm gonna put bulletproof one and that's pretty much I was doing like bulletproof one bulletproof two bulletproof three and that's because I was using the bulletproof uh, helmet at first uh, but then I started to use the beer hat and I noticed that the beer hat has the same effect as the bulletproof helmet so I'm gonna name this bulletproof one and then there look we saved it it says outfit saved okay now this is the hard part okay that that was all easy like everything before this was like easy uh, some people might have some trouble here on this part I don't know it's up to you you know if you're good at glitches or if you're not good at glitches but honestly this glitch isn't that hard to do it's not that hard to do there's many glitches out there that are much more difficult this is this is pretty much an easy one like I was able to do it right away 
uh, I didn't have any trouble, you know, getting it. So, I like all my money, dude. Like, the money that <laughs> spawns here. It's just, like, all on the floor. Like, I don't even have any room in my safe anymore. There's, like, no more room in my safe, so it all just goes on the floor. <laughs> Apparently, I have chips in here, too. It's so stupid because it's, like, you can keep... It, it looks like I'm keeping chips in here. It looks like I'm keeping all kinds of money in here. But this safe, dude... To be honest, this safe doesn't work. You can't put money in here. Can't take money out. It's useless. So honestly, if you're going to buy a safe in the CEO building, just know that you can't use it. It's useless. Um, the only one that works is the nightclub. And then even in the nightclub, like you don't get to put money in there. You just take money out. So, so yeah, that's something that Rockstar has to you know, update. Definitely, I think they should update the safes because it's like we have so much freaking room in our buildings like the CEO building, the nightclub, the casino, everywhere. There's like so much room. Can't we just put like maybe like three safes? Like let me just have three safes and each safe has like, you know, I don't even know, like 100,000 each, like 70,000 ain't nothing, dude. I wish we could have more safes and actually put money in there and actually put uh, chips in there. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, we'll be able to get an update like that to add more safes uh, to all our buildings. Because it's like, why do we have all these buildings, all these, all this room? So, all right. I'm going to go ahead and, and get to the glitch now. Let's go ahead and do the glitch. I'm sorry uh, I was <laughs> taking so long to explain things, but... All right, let's go ahead and do it. So what you got to do, what's cool is that they haven't taken it off to where you could run in your CEO building. Because honestly, if they take out the part where you could run in your CEO building, I think that'll take away the glitch. <laughs> so luckily, they haven't done that yet. And if anybody's watching right now, uh, if you're going to watch this video and do it, make sure you do it right away. Because who knows, maybe, you know, Rockstar can easily patch this glitch and you won't be able to do it no more. Uh, so go ahead and let's let's do this uh, without further ado. Uh, so what you got to do is you got to run towards the telescope. You're going to be running towards this telescope and you're going to press the right directional button. Right here. If you look on here, this is the right directional button again the right directional button is what you have to press some people don't know what the heck that means you tell some people that like oh you gotta press the right directional button they're like what I'm pressing the right directional button no you're pressing the joystick take your finger off the joystick press the, di the directional buttons on the left side of your controller uh, some people don't know but it's like they can't figure it out it's called a directional button okay so you can see which direction you want to go in directional okay thank you please everybody get that through your head okay now that we figured that out all right what you do is you press the right directional button and then you hold this middle button you see this middle button this is a big it's like it's pretty much like a mouse pad okay so you hold down the mouse pad right right after you press the left directional button you run towards the telescope you run towards it you press the right directional button as soon as you press that you hold down this uh it's like a mouse pad you hold down the mouse pad on the controller once you do that you're gonna get this menu over here you see this menu over here now I could use the interactive menu but I'm stuck on the telescope if you start looking through the telescope you've done the glitch wrong you did it wrong okay start over again if you start looking through that thing just start over okay what you gotta do is you gotta make sure that your character is pretty much standing all he's doing is he's standing in front of the telescope you're not supposed to be looking through the telescope. 
you gotta be just standing in front of it. You press the right directional button, then you hold down this mouse pad in the middle of the control, and you get this screen. Once you get this screen, then you go to style. Style. I'm gonna repeat that again. Once you get this menu over here on the left that you see on the left of my screen, then you press style. After you press style, you go over here to the outfit that you saved, okay? And then you click on that outfit. Another thing, I, I actually, I explained all this part, okay? But I haven't explained the uh, the second part. Once you, after you save the outfit, you have to save the outfit in your saved outfits. And then you go over here. Before you do the glitch, I, I, I was pretty much showing you how to do the glitch. But before you do that, you save your outfit. And then you come over here. And you go to the mask that you want. You find the specific mask that you want to make uh, connected with the beer hat or the bulletproof helmet. Okay, so you find that mask that you want to do. Uh, I've done a couple of these. Are I've done a bunch of them already, actually. Uh, so I pretty much I know the outcome of a lot of them of how they're gonna look, and it's pretty crazy because not only are you able to put the mask with the hat but when you do that the mask it, it doesn't stay big the mask doesn't stay like a big size like the normal size it like shrinks down it like makes the mask smaller to fit the hat uh so i think that's pretty cool and it dude honestly it makes the masks look even like much cooler because some of the masks like you see them at first like normally and then you put them with the hat and you're like what the heck it doesn't even look the same like honestly it looks like a whole new mask uh so i think that's pretty cool uh so let's go ahead and we are gonna go to the one that i want the one that i wanted to get <clears throat> i pretty much already had this one and i had it saved already uh, but this is the one of the outfits that it deleted So I'm gonna go to that specific one that I wanted and I'm gonna do that one. Let's see which one was it? Oh this one Okay, so this is the one that I wanted to do and I actually had this one saved Dude, it looks so cool because when you when you put the hat on this mask then it's like you can't even see the guy's head anymore. Pretty much you just all you see is the skull. So it looks like it's like the skull that you're wearing and you can't even see the the guy's head on top anymore. Uh yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so this is the one I want. So I'm going to go ahead and now you don't save anything. You don't save the outfits. You just pick it and you click on the mask that you want. Now you see how I have this outfit with the mask now now I have the mask that I want with that outfit okay so now this is where you want to be once you've done this part you're ready for the glitch I wanted to show you the glitch on how to do it exactly but you have to put on the mask before you do the glitch or else it doesn't work so let's go ahead and ex let's, let's go ahead and show you again how to do the glitch I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it one more time for you so go ahead you run across over here and then you press the right button and you hold you want to hold that middle uh, mouse pad it's kind of like a mouse pad you want to hold the middle mouse pad on your controller right after you press the right directional button then you're holding that down okay then your character is gonna pretty much stop here He's going to be running and he's going to go, you want to go past the telescope. What you want to do is you want to run past the telescope and then you press right. And when you see your character run that way and run back this way towards the telescope, he's going to stop right here. Once you've seen that happen, then you know that you're ready to do the glitch. I'm going to go ahead and do it again. I'm going to stop it right now. 
There we go. See? The glitch didn't work right now. I wanted to show you that the glitch doesn't work unless you actually, you know, you have to pick the, the outfit uh, again for it to work. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it one more time for you. I want to show you, you know, for anybody who's watching out there, if you want to rewind this, you know, and watch all three attempts again, it's up to you. But as long as you can get it, as long as you figure it out, that's what I'm worried about. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking about right now. I'm trying to help you guys so that you can figure out the glitch and be able to do it on your own. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run towards the telescope again. I'm going to show you. I'm going to demonstrate how to do this glitch one more time. So you run past it. You want to hold. See? There you go. That's an example. Perfect. That's. I didn't want that to happen. But honestly, this is exactly what I needed to happen to show you what not to do. This, if this happens and you're looking through the telescope, you did the glitch wrong. The glitch is, the glitch didn't work for you. Go ahead and try it again because this is how you know that the glitch is not working for you. That you have to do it again. Okay, so go ahead and do it again. You press the right button to exit and you want to go ahead and come over to this area again. And you want to get ready to run that way. Okay, we're going to do it again. I wanted it. That was perfect because that way I can show you exactly how it is. And if you don't do the glitch right, then you're looking through the telescope. Exactly what just happened to me. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's try this again. You're going to run towards it. You run past it. You press right and you hold hold that mouse pad down. Okay, so there we go. That's the third time that I showed you how to do the glitch. Uh, if you want, go ahead and rewind this video again. Go ahead and watch it all over again. You know, until you get this glitch right, you know, I want, I want you to be able to figure it out. I'm trying to help everybody out so that everybody can have... You know, a really cool costume, a really cool, you know, uh, outfit with their, you know, their mask and their hat. You know, whatever you want to do to make your outfits look nice. I'm just trying to help everybody out there. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to go again to style. S-T-Y-L-E. Style. So we go to style. And then we go to outfit. You see how if I go to outfit, my my bulletproof outfit is already there uh, so pretty much what you want to do once you get to outfits once you've done the glitch and you have the mask on you already put the mask on you did the glitch then you want to press X okay you want to press the X button and it's gonna go ahead and give me that beer hat on top of my head again now I have the beer hat now I have the heavy utility vest okay then you press circle okay right after you're done doing that you press circle and you walk away walk away from the telescope once you walk away from the telescope keep on moving a little bit and then your mask is going to come back on with the beer hat okay or with the bulletproof helmet whatever whichever way you did it okay so let's go ahead and now we press circle and we press circle again so we can exit out that menu then we walk away once you walk away from the telescope you see now i have the beer hat with the the mask that i was just wearing and like i said you can't even see the guy's face anymore it covers the guy's face and now all you see is a bloody skull so i think that's freaking awesome dude that's so dope all right so i'm gonna go ahead now i'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go save it alright so now once you're done don't just walk out of your CEO building thinking you're done the glitch isn't done yet okay you've done the glitch yes good job great but also once you're done doing the glitch if you don't have this room right here pretty much you need this room you need this room right here in order to be able to do the glitch properly you need this room you have to have this room so if you don't have this room 
go ahead and renovate your CEO building. Make sure you get this room right here because in order to do the glitch, you need this little private room in order to go over here and be able to save your outfit, okay? So I go in this room, go to my closet, I go to outfits, we go to, we press square, go to saved outfits, and you don't want to save it on the outfit that you were using in order to do the glitch, okay? So you don't want to save it on the first one. I don't want to save it on that one because I was doing the glitch with that outfit. So I'm going to go ahead and save it on a separate outfit. If you're like me and you're like, oh man, Oz, dude, I can't freaking save any more outfits. I have too many outfits. Like, what am I going to do? I mean, honestly, I don't see Rockstar giving us any more outfits. Uh, I don't know if it'll happen. I don't know if we'll get more than 20 outfits. But if you have that problem, just look in your outfits. Check out all your outfits and see which is the outfit that you don't like. Which is the outfit that you're not going to wear anymore. Which is the outfit that you haven't worn in forever which is the outfit that you will never use ever again so pretty much just look at your outfits see which ones that you don't want and you go ahead and just override uh you know the out this new outfit on the outfit that you don't want okay so that's that's pretty much what i did i have all i had pretty much all 20 outfits already saved so i was like damn like i can't I'm going to have to delete some outfits. So pretty much I just all the outfits that I wasn't using or whatever, you know, I just I just overwritten them with these new outfits. Uh like I said, I have a couple out couple outfits that it saved that I don't have to do all over again. So luckily that's pretty cool. Um I think I had it right here. Yeah, this is this is where this outfit was. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. I'm gonna save this outfit again in the in the same place where it got deleted from. I'm not gonna put the outfit over here on Bulletproof One because I'm using Bulletproof One in order to do the glitch. So I'm gonna leave that outfit by itself. Don't touch that outfit. You wanna leave it so that you could continue doing the glitch and do more outfits. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and let's save it right here. Nice. Perfect. So this was the one that I had before that it deleted from me. So you see how it says high roll and skull. So that's pretty much what I had uh, before for the name of this outfit. And I'm going to pretty much put, put the same the same name because uh, I like that name. It sounded, it sounded pretty cool. A uh, high roll and skull and I pretty much put like a suit on him so he's like a high roller like from the casino okay so I'm gonna go ahead and save that now that I've written the name for the outfit that I wanted to put it on now you press R2 okay you press this button right here R2 look I don't know if you could see hold on let me bring it a little bit closer not the one up here this is R1 Okay, you don't want to do R1, not L1, not L2. This is left, left side of the controller. You want to do right side. Okay, not R1, but you want to do R2. You press R2, boom, I saved it. Okay, so now I saved that outfit. Now that outfit is saved. Okay, and what we want to do is um, now I can fix up this outfit the way I want to. I can fix it up however I want. And then now I can save it on the same outfit and just overwrite it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going I'm to fix up this uh, this outfit for you real quick. So you could see the end result and see how it looks. So let's go ahead and let's start with uh, the fitted. Okay, first we got to do pants. First, let's go to pants. Then we go to fitted suit pants. Okay, and you want to get to start off with to start off with the black regular suit pants okay so we'll do that now we go back to tops now we can choose now we go to fitted suit jackets 
and now we could choose one of these fitted suit jackets to put with my my new uh, mask and hat so I can make a nice outfit for him and pretty much the one that I chose before was let's see where is it this one I, I thought this this uh, jacket looked pretty cool on him so I'm gonna go ahead and save that one for him uh, did I get red pants I don't remember if I had red pants on him or not I don't think I did um all right so my pretty much my video should be over now because my 45 minutes uh timer has went off but i'm gonna go ahead and finish this i want to finish this uh video and show you a couple more outfits that i'm gonna make right after this uh so go ahead and stay tuned with me i'm not gonna finish my video just yet uh, so let's go ahead and go to fitted suit pants. I don't think I had the red ones on. If I remember correctly, I think I only had the black ones on. Because these are red. Let's see what else. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I think I just had the red the red jacket with the black pants yeah I think that's how I had it cuz I don't think I made it all red okay so let's go ahead and now let's go to shoes oh yeah and then I had the red light up shoes from arena wars and then let's go to accessories we're gonna go to gloves and I'm gonna pick the black driving gloves I don't know why but I I feel like all of my outfits have these gloves I just feel more comfortable with these gloves like I I feel like it goes with the outfit like I don't know all right uh, now so basically uh, another thing that I wanted to explain to you is when you're doing these outfits sometimes when you put on let's say you put on a fitted suit jacket after you put on the fitted suit jacket you're gonna want to change uh, the business shirt because the business shirt that you have underneath it doesn't allow you to put a tie uh, if you want to put a tie on the outfit it doesn't allow you to put a tie on it so you're gonna want to change the business shirt so pretty much you change the business shirt to one of these let's say uh, the one that I picked I think was the charcoal one that one looked pretty cool with that outfit yeah so pretty much if if you're on these right here the ones at the very top these are the high roller shirts if it says high roller shirt you're not going to be able to put a tie on it so the ones that you can put a tie on is gonna be like these down here the ones that say cuffed uh, <clears throat> also these over here you can also put ties on them uh, so there we go now I have I changed my business shirt and now I can put a tie on it there we go so right here these are bow ties so pretty much if you have the high roller shirt it only allows you to put certain bow ties on them uh, basically the bow ties that are it, like loose bow ties the bow ties that are not tied up I think those are the ones that it allows you to put on your shirt when you have the high roller one. Uh, but I wanted to choose a tie. Wanted to choose a tie. So if you want to choose a tie, just make sure you change it from high roller shirt to like a cuffed one. And then you could put a tie on it. Alright, so pretty much that's it. I pretty much made this outfit. 
I put a tie, a red tie on them. I put a charcoal business shirt. I have the fitted uh, crimson red suit jacket. We have uh, the regular fit black pants. Uh, and we have the light up arena war shoes. So yeah. And now we have the beer hat with the mask, with the skull mask. So I'm pretty happy right there, dude. That's that's pretty awesome. So now, now that you've made your outfit, now that you fixed it the way you wanted to, now you're gonna go to again edit saved outfits. You want to press square, okay? And then we're gonna go back to the one that I just made, which is high rolling skull. We're gonna go back to that one, and I'm gonna press X on it, and it says, "Are you sure you want to overwrite?" Are you sure you want to overwrite the outfit in this slot? And we're going to push X again. Yes, I do want to overwrite. And then if you if you like the name that it has, pretty much if you don't want to change the name, you just keep that name. You press R2. Boom. Outfit saved. So now I have that outfit saved. And if you want to make sure, you go ahead and pull up the interactive menu. In order to pull up the interactive menu, remember you have to hold down the mouse pad. Then you go to style, go down to style. Then you go down to outfit. And we're going to change it. This is another outfit that I made with the juggernaut mask from PS3. I brought this juggernaut mask over from PS3 when I transferred over my account. Luckily, uh, they didn't take away this outfit. Uh, because I had changed it a little bit so luckily I was still able to keep this um, but yeah so this is another outfit that I made uh, I didn't have to use the glitch in order to make this one uh, but I did the glitch in order to get the juggernaut outfit on PS3 so I pretty much I did the glitch in order to get the juggernaut outfit on PS3 and I brought it over to PS4 uh, but luckily they didn't take it away from me uh, So yeah, so I just wanted to show you now we go back and now we have our outfit that I just saved Okay, so there we go. That's the outfit that I just saved I wanted to make sure that it was still there and now what we're gonna do Let's go to style let's go to outfit and we're gonna go to we're gonna go to the bulletproof one outfit again okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to we're gonna go over here we're gonna go to hats <clears throat> so we go to hats then we go to special hats that's where I have my beer hats at and we pick the other beer hat because now that I had that red beer hat pretty much I wanted the red beer hat in order to um, match the red blood on the skull mask so that's pretty much why I chose that one but now I'm gonna change it back now I'm gonna have the blue beer hat and we're gonna go to edit saved outfits and I'm gonna write I'm gonna overwrite over this bulletproof one outfit that I have because now I want to start using the blue beer hat in order to make my outfits so let's go ahead and press X yes I want to overwrite and we'll keep it the same name bulletproof one make sure we save it and it's saved okay so there we go Pretty much uh, what I'm doing here um, is a way for you to be able to, if people are asking out there, oh, you know, you showed me how to do this glitch, you know, to put the masks with the hat, but I, I want to be able to get, I have the impotent rage outfit. I have the impotent rage outfit, but I want to put a mask on the impotent rage outfit. This glitch is pretty much the same way you put the mask on the impotent rage outfit i'm gonna go ahead and show you that right after this because honestly you could do it the same way use the same glitch and that's how you do it okay so now i have this outfit saved like this but wait you have to remember 
you have to get the mask grab the mask that you want to put on the glitch i almost forgot so pretty much let's go back here now that we saved the blue beer hat outfit now we can go back here we go to masks and we go to the next one i wanted to do hmm. which ones oh i know i know which one okay so let's go to animals <laughs> And we're going to go up. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm kind of parched right now. <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> I'm like seriously like thirsty. I should have brought something to drink, but... <laughs> Luckily, uh, my wife had a water bottle there that she didn't finish, so. Um. <clears throat> so, pretty much, you see all these masks. All the masks are pretty big. Uh, if you can tell, it actually takes off my utility uniform, the utility, uh, black utility vest that I had on. It actually took it off because it's not able to fit with the mask that I'm putting on right now uh, so I think it's pretty cool because I think the utility vest is another form of it being able to shrink the mask that's that's what makes it shrink because it's not able to fit on your shoulders right here the mask is like too big uh, see you see how I went to the dino mask and the utility vest came back on because it's not blocking the vest so that's pretty much I wanted to show you that okay so let's go ahead and pick I've done a couple of these already so I already know how they look uh, you can go ahead and have fun you know figuring out how all the masks look and how they come out and honestly I, I, it, I had a lot of fun honestly I think it's pretty cool uh, to be able to just sit here and look at like all the masks and see how they shrink and see which one you like the best. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and make the outfits that I decided that I like. That I think they look pretty cool. So the next mask on my list that I am going to do to keep my saved outfits is the brown bear. It's crazy because honestly when i didn't i didn't know this but when you do the brown bear um every every other animal like looks crazy and weird but when you do the brown bear it's funny because it almost looks like chewbacca from star wars like i swear to god like i'm gonna do it right now and you're gonna be like dude it does look like chewbacca and dude like totally like it's a way for you to have Chewbacca from Star Wars as a character on your GTA online account GTA 5 online account so pretty much I'm showing you I'm about to show you how to make a Chewbacca outfit so I mean if you want to use that that's up to you but I just think it looks pretty cool um, so let's go ahead and pick this uh, brown bear so we picked the brown bear mask. As you can see, again, I'm going to explain it. Uh, my beer hat is not there no more. My beer hat is gone because of the mask. <laughs> Another thing is my black utility uh, vest. The black utility, black heavy utility vest. It's not on anymore. So pretty much it took off the utility vest because look at, you know, the hair from the brown bear is kind of blocking it. Uh... So I'm going to go ahead and show you that when we go to um, when we go do this glitch, it's going to put back my vest on. It's going to put my vest back on and it's going to put the beer hat back on. So let's go ahead and do this glitch again. All right. Hold down the mouse pad. All right. So pretty much I'm looking through the outfit again. That's another example of how not to do it if you're looking through the telescope pretty much the glitch didn't work for you go ahead and try it again 
Okay. So that's what I'm about to do right now. There we go. So now I'm not looking through the telescope. That's how you know that it works for me again. Okay. So let's go to style. Again, we go to style. S-T-Y-L-E. And then we go to outfit. Okay. O-U-T-F-I-T. Okay. Outfit. And then we want to pick the one outfit that we were using in order to do the glitch. So I'm going to pick this bulletproof outfit. And as you can see, it put my vest back on. It put my, uh, it put my beer hat back on. And I'm going to go ahead and press circle. Let's press circle. And we press circle again. And then we walk away from the telescope. And boom, there you go. So now I have... Dude, it's so crazy, the resemblance, man. So now, as you can see, I have a Chewbacca outfit. This is pretty much Chewbacca right here. I want to, like, show it a little bit closer. <laughs> dude, that's so awesome, dude. So pretty much, if you look at my outfit, I mean, dude, come on. Like, it looks like freaking Chewbacca, dude. Like, come on. Tell me that doesn't look like Chewbacca. Just tell me that doesn't look like Chewbacca. Dude, that's totally Chewbacca right there. Like, I even want to do the sound. Like, <laughs> dude, that's awesome. Like, when else can you say that? Like, oh, I have a Chewbacca outfit in my Grand Theft Auto Online account like what the heck like that's so dope who has this have you ever have you ever seen anybody running around with a chewbacca outfit no never <laughs> that's freaking awesome okay so we're gonna go ahead what we're gonna do is remember you don't want to start fixing this outfit you don't don't want to start changing the top don't change the top don't change the pants don't put on gloves. Don't do nothing. You have to wait. Wait. And you go to edit saved outfits. Go to edit saved outfits. And you're going to want to put it on a separate outfit. That's not the bulletproof one outfit. Remember you don't want to use this one. Because this is the one you're using for the glitch. Okay. So you're going to go down. And you're going to go to an empty outfit slot. Or an outfit slot that you you don't want anymore. That you don't even use anymore. You're going to go ahead and pick that one. Right here I have this empty slot. But that's because it deleted my Chewbacca outfit before. Uh, so pretty much you just want to be careful with that. If your outfits get deleted. Go ahead and get back on. And put those outfits back on again. Make sure you try to save them the second time. Uh, and just make sure you do that. You, this is not gonna happen forever. I don't I don't think honestly I don't think this is gonna happen forever. Honestly, I think it'll happen a couple times and Once you've saved the outfit a couple times Then it'll for sure legit save and you won't lose it anymore uh, That's that's what I'm thinking. This is only the second time that I'm doing this Hopefully it doesn't happen to me anymore Hopefully there was only two times that I had to save the outfits and that's it, but we'll see Honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and save it. I'm going to save it on this empty slot. Because this is pretty much where I had my other Chewbacca outfit. Uh, so let's go ahead. You see how it says. It says right there the old outfit that I have. It, it says Chewbacca Roland. So that's pretty much the one that I had from before. So I'm going to go ahead and put that same name. Chewbacca Roland. And then let's now that we save that outfit i press r2 to save it you want to make sure you do that make sure you save the outfit that has the beer hat with the mask or the bulletproof helmet with the mask make sure you save it first then once you save it then you could go change the shirt change the pants and then you could save it again okay remember that uh let's go ahead and go to I'm going to go to tops, psych, no I'm not, I'm going to go to pants, and then let's go to fitted suit pants, and we will pick, 
we will pick these just to start off with so that it allows me to get the fitted suit jackets <laughs> excuse me um so the one that i chose before for chewbacca was i think it was the golden one yeah gold printed clothes jacket this is the one that i had because i felt like this one suited chewbacca like so much it has gold first of all and it kind of looks like brown so it kind of goes with like the brown uh mask the brown brown chewbacca mask uh so let's go ahead and now that we've done that now we could go back to pants we go to fitted suit pants and then we find the gold plated gold plated suit pants let's see here we go now we have the gold plated suit pants and we want to go to let's go to accessories we'll go to gloves let's get the black driving gloves of course and the shoes we will change the shoes that sucks that they don't have brown light-up shoes, because that'd be cool. I would like to have brown light-up shoes. Um, so we're going to go ahead and choose the smart shoes. Let's go to smart shoes. And then I'm going to pick the brown ones, pretty much. There's like some brown ones. I think it's like brown slip-ons. Oh no, it was the chocolate Oxfords. I think those are the ones. No, 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 no. Was it the Oxfords or the slip-ons? I think it was the slip-ons because I feel like... I was thinking that the Oxfords are kind of like... They look too weird. The black ones are fine, but any other color Oxfords kind of look weird. Oh, so here's the brown slip-ons, but then... It takes off my fitted suit pants. In order to put them on. Which is weird because these, if I put these on, these don't take off the suit pants. So I think I might just stick with those. Or the black ones, the black ones look good too. Yeah, the black Oxford, Oxfords look good. Alright, so let's go ahead and leave that, and then we'll go to... Do, 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 do. Oh, we gotta go back to tops. Let's go back to tops, and then we go to business shirts. We change the business shirt. <clears throat> and I think I was gonna do... I think I had black a black shirt with a brown tie. Um... Kind of like this brown color too. It's not bad. Tan cuffed. Which one is the one that I had? They both say tan cuff. Tan cuff shirt. Tan cuff shirt. They oh. Well, one has a loose button. That one has a loose button, and then this one has... This one's all buttoned up at the top. Okay. Just wanted to see what the difference was that. I think the tan one looks cool. Alright, so let's do the tan one. Or should I do black? Yeah, never mind. Let's do black. I think black with brown would look better. So charcoal. And then we go to do, 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 accessories. And we go to ties. Go to the brown tie. Look for the brown tie. There we go. Brown tie. All right. And that's pretty much it. And I'm done with this outfit. So now we go to outfits. We go to edit saved outfits. 
and we put it on top of Chewbacca Roland again. There we go. And that's it. And I'm done with this outfit. Here goes another outfit that I made. So now I have Chewbacca with their beer hat. <laughs> Dude, I think this is so awesome. And it's cool because like in the back of the beer hat, you could like see his hair coming out. <laughs> it's so cool dude I think it's freaking awesome man it totally looks like Chewbacca because pretty much what it does is it takes the beer mat it takes the sorry it takes the bear mask takes the brown bear mask and it pretty much shrinks it like makes it smaller so that's pretty much what what makes that um you know Chewbacca face all right <clears throat> And then we have one more that I wanted to do. Okay. And this one, this outfit I actually wanted to put uh, with the bulletproof helmet because this was gonna be the outfit that I take when I go to like a heist. Like if I go do a heist or if I go do a mission or something, like I could put this outfit on I'll have the bulletproof helmet and then I'll have the the black utility vest. So that's pretty much why I was using this originally to make my outfits because I wanted to make an outfit with a bulletproof helmet and then also a mask on it. So let's go ahead and now we're gonna go to let's go to hats and then we go to bulletproof helmets. We want to get that bulletproof. That black bulletproof helmet. Okay. And then. Oh, you know what? Wait. I just thought about it. Yeah, let me. Hold on. Let me do this real quick. Um. I wanted to keep uh, with this outfit I wanted to put the mask with the bulletproof helmet and then I also had on my legs on uh, as pants I had the juggernaut suit pants uh, so pretty much I wanted to keep that one if I go to which one has it I think I there should be one I think there's one outfit left that has those those juggernaut pants <gasps> oh no no I was about to say did I lose it no I didn't lose it okay so oh yeah so this is the juggernaut suit and then this is the juggernaut mask and with this juggernaut mask I still have my juggernaut pants saved here so luckily I can go to this one and what we'll do is, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and we will go to edit saved outfits and we will put this on our bulletproof outfit. Okay. Override it. And we will call that bulletproof one. Or we could also change it back to just saying bulletproof because I don't have any more uh, bulletproof outfits. So let's go ahead and just change it to bulletproof. Okay. So now that we save that as bulletproof, now we want to go to. Let's go back to tops. Let's go to utility vests. And we want to go back to black heavy utility vest. We'll put that on. Okay. And then now. Now we go to hats. And we go to bulletproof helmets. And we put the black bulletproof helmet on. Alright. So there we go. Pretty much we got this one. And now we have it saved with the juggernaut pants. Now I have the juggernaut pants that I could put with my bulletproof outfit. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and save that one on there. 
so we go to edit saved outfits and we go to bulletproof and we will save it there overwrite it yes I want to overwrite and there we go so now I have this outfit that I can wear as my bulletproof outfit and then we'll go now I want to go check it out just to make sure I didn't lose it so here we go I have the juggernaut mask and this is with the the juggernaut pants and then this is my juggernaut suit so I took everything off except for the helmet and then back to the bulletproof one okay there we go perfect okay so now I don't know how long I'm making this video but honestly I'm just trying to get everything in there just so I could show you everything uh, I still want to do the impotent rage right after this at the end so I'm uh, definitely I, I promise that I will do that um, <clears throat> now we go to masks we go to masks we go to animals and then now we want to pick the animal we want to pick the mask that we want to combine with this bulletproof helmet and this uh, bulletproof vest so let's go ahead I want to pick the zebra because I already know how the zebra is gonna look and I think it's freaking awesome so yeah I'm gonna pick the zebra and then let's go ahead and go do this glitch okay run over there press right nope we did it wrong see again there's another example of how not to do it so if you mess up like that just go ahead and do it again let's go ahead and run back at it press right hold down the mouse pad boom I got it this time so pretty much it doesn't take that long to get it you just have to keep on trying it I can pretty much get it like on my second try so I mean there's some glitches that take like forever like you gotta do them like seven times or ten times in order to actually get it uh, but this one doesn't take that long honestly uh, so let's go ahead and we're gonna go to style again again to style and then you want to go again to the bulletproof so we're gonna pick that bulletproof one and then we press circle press circle again walk away and then boom <laughs> dude I think it looks so awesome like this like if you notice a lot of the masks are gonna do this they're gonna shrink and it's gonna make the mask smaller in order to fit the helmet and I don't know if it's fitting necessarily the helmet and the the utility vest I'm not sure if maybe just the helmet does that effect but just in case I keep the utility vest because I'm not sure if it's part of the glitch or not uh, so you might want to check that out on your own if you could use like a regular shirt with the the bulletproof helmet but it's up to you I did it this way just to be safe uh, so yeah pretty much you can see I have uh, <laughs> this is freaking dope I have the zebra mask but the zebra mask has been glitched and now it's like much smaller you can't even see the zebra's eyes his eyes are in the bulletproof helmet so I think it's so cool dude like he has like a small mouth <laughs> and you could still see I like the zebra because the other horses is like whatever like they're just regular colors but with the zebra you can actually see like the stripes on the face so you could see like the stripes and how they look I think that's super cool so yeah so here we go here's my my bulletproof outfit I have it saved with the the old juggernaut pants from PS3 and I have it with my utility vest my black heavy utility vest uh, let's go ahead and save this so now we want to go to saved outfits press square and I'm gonna save it on the bulletproof outfit because now now that I'm done with all my outfits I pretty much finished with all my outfits now I can just go and save it on this outfit now that I'm done I don't need to do it anymore so let's go ahead and save it and we will save it on bulletproof press R2 
and now it's saved now I have it in my saved outfit so now if I look like this let's go ahead and check let's go to style let's go to Chewbac Chewbacca Roland so we got Chewbacca Roland right here this is another outfit that I made and let's go back to bulletproof boom go back to bulletproof and it has the little zebra mask on there so there we go uh <clears throat> So pretty much uh, another thing that I wanted to show you was the impotent rage. There's a lot of people that have the impotent rage outfit, but they don't know how to put a mask on the impotent rage outfit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the beer mask. No, I'm excuse me. I'm going to put the beer hat on the mask that I'm wearing which is the cupid mask because i wanted to get the cupid mask i think it looks pretty funny like with the the superhero outfit uh so let's go ahead and we will go to hats and let's go to special hats all right and as you can see it takes off the outfit right here uh so what I have to do, I'm going to have to do the glitch two times uh, in order to get the beer hat on top and then also in order to get uh, the Cupid mask. So let's see. So I want to put this beer hat on him. Okay. So you do that. You put the beer hat on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run towards it and I'm going to pick I'm going to pick the impotent rage outfit, okay? And that's what it's going to allow me to put the beer hat on top of the mask. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so he's looking through. That means I didn't do it right. Let's do it again. there we go I got it that time so there we go now we go to style and we go to the outfits ouch ow oh I have like an industrial earring on my ear I got like a piercing over here on my ear so ouch honestly it kind of hurts right now I think sometimes when it gets sweaty and it's like inside of the ear, the earphones, it like starts to hurt. <laughs> Cause like the earphones are like pressing on my piercing. Ouch! But anyways, <laughs> let's continue. Um, where were we? Okay, so we want to go to impotent rage. Okay, so we go to the impotent rage outfit. You want to press X on the impotent rage outfit. All right, and then we press circle and then we walk away oh it didn't work I thought it was gonna work with the with the beer hat but it didn't work oh you know what I know it's because I have to save it first that's why I have to save it with the beer hat then i have to put the mask and do it all over again there we go that's why it didn't work so now you know and it's because i had the mask on top at first so let's go ahead and we're gonna do that again now we go to and i like that the beer hat is yellow and blue it's like the same color as the impotent rage i mean well it's like pink and blue but there's like parts where there's like yellow <laughs> and then it matches my my uh it matches i was gonna say jumpsuit no it matches my parachute matches the parachute straps so that's why i put the parachute on also uh so let's go ahead and we're gonna go to masks we're gonna go to mask and we're gonna go to valentine's and we're gonna go to the cupid mask and you pick the cupid mask because that's the one that i want to put on my impotent rage outfit Oh no, I did it wrong. 
Shoot. I'm gonna have to do it again, dude. I forgot. Ah, man. I forgot to save it. Because I was supposed to save it with the beer hat. So let's go ahead. And, damn, now I gotta do it again. Uh, let's go ahead and do it again because I, I forgot to save it with the beer hat. You see, that's what you gotta remember that. You gotta remember to save it first, and then you go do the glitch again, and then you save it again. Alright, so. Damn. Now I have to go to. Okay, let's try this again. Now I have to go to hats. Let's go to special hats again. Let's go to the beer hat again. Alright, let's try this again. I messed up because I forgot to save it on that outfit. Alright. So let's go ahead, let's do it again. Nope. And if you see that your character doesn't go back to the telescope, if he doesn't run towards back to the telescope, then you didn't do it right. That's another thing too. Your character has to either stop your character has to either stop where he's running in place and it's like not letting him move anymore or if he goes past the telescope and he runs back to the telescope then that's how you know you're doing it right but if you get there and he doesn't do that then you know that the glitch isn't wasn't done right so let's go to style we want to go to style and then let's go to impotent rage and we want to click on the impotent rage we want to back out and then we want to walk away all right now i have the beer hat on the impotent rage outfit so we got to remember go over here we want to go to edit saved outfits press square and you want to go to the impotent rage let's go to impotent rage and then we will override it so now impotent rage we will save it like that press r2 and there we go now we have the beer hat on the impotent rage outfit okay and then what we want to do now that we saved it now we could pick the cupid mask to put on top all right so now we pick the cupid mask okay don't save it you don't need to save it just pick the mask you just pick the mask and then you go do the glitch run towards it press right Hold the mouse pad down. And you want to hold the mouse pad. Don't just press the mouse pad. You want to hold it down. And you don't want to hold the right button. You just press the right button. Okay? So you go to style. Let's go to style again. Let's go to impotent rage again. Okay? So now he has the beer hat. Okay? So now we walk away. Boom! Boom! nice dude it worked heck yeah that's what i wanted dude that's so cool oh my god so now i have the impotent rage outfit with the cupid mask with the beer hat on top nice that's so cool dude that's freaking awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and save this outfit now let's go ahead and save this outfit press square remember press square and you go to saved outfits, edit saved outfits, you go to impotent rage. Let's go right back to impotent rage. We're gonna press X and we're gonna it says are you sure you want to overwrite? You press X again. Okay, then we press R2. Press this button right here, R2, and now we save the outfit. So now it's saved in there. Now we can go and change the outfit. Go to style. Let's go to this is also another outfit that I wanted to show you guys. This is another one I did with the alien mask. I put the alien mask and then I put the beer hat on top. So that's another one that I did and it, it made the alien mask smaller. I'm not sure if you could tell but the alien mask is smaller. Uh, so yeah it's pretty cool. So that's another one I made. You could do the same thing with this. If you want to do the fly you could put the fly mask. And then put the beer hat on top. There's another option. Uh, so there's there's a bunch of you know masks you can do it with. But yeah. And then what else? Um, we have this one. This is the first one that we made. The first outfit that we made. 
uh, to show you the glitch. Uh, this is an outfit that I made before I did this video. I had saved this outfit. Uh, pretty much I had the juggernaut mask and I just changed everything else. I put a suit on him and then I saved it again. So now, now I have a suit with the juggernaut mask. This is my Joker co costume. I have my Joker costume with the juggernaut pants. That's number one Joker right there. And then we have the Joker pimp with also the same juggernaut pants. And he has a beer hat on top of the the Joker mask. So this is another outfit. This is the very first outfit that I made uh, in order to learn this glitch. Because I didn't know the glitch before. And actually I want to give a shout out to M Husk, Which is uh, their, their YouTube channel is called The Husky. I want to give a shout out to her because if it wasn't for her... I would have never uh, figured out this glitch and pretty much she's the one who told me about it uh, to use the telescope in order to do the glitch so I want to go ahead and thank uh, M Husk out there thank you for you know helping me out with the glitch because if it wasn't for you I wouldn't be able to make this video so there we go and we have the bulletproof one with the zebra mask all small with the juggernaut pants okay and then we got this is one that I made before. This is not a glitched one. Uh, this is my Chewbacca one. This is another Chew another outfit that I made. This Chewbacca outfit with the <laughs> with the um with the high roller suit on. And then what else we got? Number seven. This is another. This is the second uh, outfit that I made when I was learning the glitch uh, because I was able to put the red beer hat on top of the number seven mask from the casino so i think this one's pretty cool and i put a, a suit on him with the juggernaut pants and then we have the impotent rage the one i just made right now the one i just saved so luckily it's saved i went right back to it and here we go we got the beer hat with the cupid mask and the impotent rage outfit and we have our parachute on the back make it look even better there we go and that's pretty much it uh, I wanted to show everybody how to do this glitch and I wanted to show everybody you know that it's not that hard to do it's pretty easy so it's not that difficult uh, if you guys want to do it you know just go ahead and watch my video a bunch of times I, I bet that if you watch my video and you keep on practicing on how to do the glitch that you'll be able to do it trust me uh, it gets frustrating it gets annoying but please just be patient uh, keep on trying go ahead and watch my video uh, another time if you have to to try to figure it out go back to the parts where I was explaining the glitch and you know pretty much you'll be able to get it uh, you know I wanted to help everybody out there and show them this video on how to put the the beer hat or the bulletproof helmet on a mask and here we go so that's pretty much it I did all that I that I can do here for you I tried to help you as much as I can uh, so yeah make sure to press that like button if you like this video make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel this is Oz the controller and I'm out thanks for watching everybody see you later And you see, if you look through the telescope, you could just take yourself off of it, and it doesn't take the glitch away, just so you know. So yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. This is Oz the Controller, and I'm out.